welcome back to another episode of Felicia Asks a Question. Today we're talking about prayer and I'm interviewing Sydney and Matt. We are talking about different types of prayer, whether that's a breath prayer, which is something where you can breathe in a statement and breathe out a statement. Um, it's super quick and short. It's an easy way to communicate fast things to God, whether you're thanking him for something or just remembering his presence. Another type of prayer is just modeling after the Lord's Prayer that you can find in the Bible. And then another popular version is to go through the Acts method, which is adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication, which we will talk more about on um, in services and stuff. So this is Sydney. She is currently a college freshman and she's one of our ministry partners for the junior high. Sydney, I'm gonna ask you a couple of this or that questions, which just to let you guys know, I did not tell her I was doing this. So oh, it's kind no. of off the cuff. But <laughs> Sydney, are you a ketchup or mustard? Uh, ketchup. Pop or water? Water. Coffee or tea? Coffee. <laughs> Chick-fil-A or Chipotle? Chipotle. Okay. Yes. Interesting. So. Chick-fil-A is good too. I just like Chipotle better. Interesting. I like Chipotle if I'm choosing something healthier, but I can't get away from those waffle fries in my opinion. Oh my gosh, so. yes. <laughs> so, Sydney, what does your regular prayer life look like? So, it kind of varies from time to time. So, back, I'd say in high school, I really wanted to grow in my prayer life. Um, so, I just basically asked people how I could pray for them. Um, that has grown into more of like a lifestyle of prayer. That's kind of how I, I view it now. Um, basically all throughout the day, like you mentioned before, breath prayers, that's something similar to what I do. Um, I just ask God questions, ask him anything that's on my heart. Um, a lot of the time I pray in my car when I'm driving from place to place. And right now a habit that I'm working on is as I'm going around spaces that I am, I pray for people who are going to be in those spaces, so. That's really cool. Do you have any resources or tools that you use to help your prayer? So I journal my prayers a lot in this little guy. Um, that's what I've found has been the most helpful for me because in general journaling helps me because I can just get all of my thoughts on paper. Um, I can see it and if I write out my prayers it helps me be a little bit more organized with my thoughts if that makes sense. So. Yeah, I've been really into pray, uh, journaling my prayers as well. I use like a little moleskin that you can find mm -hmm. at Target, but yeah. that's really cool. Yeah. Let's say students are venturing to start incorporating prayer on a more regular basis in their prayer mm -hmm. life. What kind of encouragement do you have for them? Um, I would just say pick something that matches your personality, um, especially to start. So I love people. That's why I started there. That's why I started just praying for my friends. Um, if you're more of like a reserved person, um, you could have a daily, like two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, something that you, um, set aside for the Lord. Um, and this kind of scares people sometimes. I hope it doesn't scare you, but sometimes it does, um, is praying out loud in groups. That's something I love to do. Or if somebody is going through something, I'll literally lay hands on them and pray for them in that moment. Um, so I just encourage you to find a habit that you can stick to, but also find something that gets you out of your comfort zone a little bit, because if I have learned anything in this journey with the Lord, it's that when I'm out of my comfort zone, that's the safest place for me to be. So wow. that's that. Thank you for those words, Sydney. Um, the th cool thing about prayer is it is one of those disciplines that you can easily incorporate based on the amount of time you have. So um, I just encourage you to work some more prayer into your life this week. Feel free to ask your small group leaders or just other trusted adults around you or ask Josh or Zach or someone else on staff what their prayer life looks like. But here's just a small glimpse into Sydney's and next you'll see what Matt's looks like. Thank you. We have our boss, Matt McLean here. He's the junior high pastor. Hey, Felicia. How's it going, Matt? Good, how are you? Good, I'm gonna ask you some this or that questions okay. before we get into our topic of prayer today. Great. Coke or Pepsi? Uh, I don't like soda. Oh. I know. I don't think I knew that about you. Fun fact. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Uh, ketchup or mustard? Ketchup. Summer or winter? Summer. And I'll just ask you a random question. What's your favorite type of music? 
I don't know. It depends on the setting. Um, What's your go-to gym jams? Uh, gym jams. Um, I'll usually do the hits, like current hits on Alexa or 90s alternative rock. Oh, really interesting. Weird. I know, it's weird. Huh. If you guys don't know, Matt is has his own home gym, so he's been working out in it quite a bit lately. But whatever. Yeah. Um, today we're talking about prayer. So Matt, what does your prayer life look like? <clears throat> yeah. So I don't I'm not a good morning person. Like I don't like some people like get up and they spend a lot of time praying in the morning. That's not really a, a consistent thing for me. I would say like the, the best time that I find that I pray is at night. Um, usually when the house is quiet, kids go to bed and everybody's gone. That's when I find like the, the best time of like stillness. Um, but it's also like throughout the day, like I find myself just uh, relying on that communication with God throughout the day. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, do you use any resources or books that help shape your prayer life? Yeah, that's good. So there's two books that I've read that probably have been really impactful. One is by a guy named Tim Keller. He wrote a book called Prayer. Uh, that was really good. Uh, but the second one, probably more impactful, was a book called Walking as Jesus Walked. And it just looked at different aspects of Jesus' life. And one is he focused on his prayer time. So I try to like figure out, okay, how, how did Jesus pray in these moments? How did, what did Jesus do? Uh, and just try to reflect that the best I can. Awesome. We will link those books down below if you want to check them out. So check them out in our description. Um, Matt, do you have any encouragement for our students who are maybe uncomfortable with prayer or learning how to pray for the first time or things like that? Yeah. Well, two things. One, like look at what Jesus says to his disciples when they ask him what to, how to pray. Uh, and if you can kind of like build an outline off of the Lord's Prayer, I think that's a, a key start. You know, you don't have to do it word for word, uh, but just try to say, okay, how do, how do these words match? Like, how do these, how do these, how's the flow here? I think that's a really good way to start. Uh, and two, uh, to start doing it. Like, if you're not a, a person that likes to pray out loud, maybe just start asking people, like, can you um, start doing that? Because, I mean, it, it takes, sometimes it takes practice, right? You know, anytime you're doing some kind of discipline, there's some kind of practice to it. And when it comes to you personally, uh, just be consistent in what you say to God. You get an opportunity to talk to your creator. And I think consistency and just, just being open to that is important. Yes. Well, thank you, Matt, so thank much. You. We appreciate it. Social distance, you know? Yeah. All right. Tune in and we'll see you next week.